Hello, my name is Chris Visaya, part of the Splunk education team. Syslog is a standard for message logging. Most devices that generate syslog messages act as a server, sending the event data to a receiver. Most commonly, this is done using UDP over port 514. When administrators first start using Splunk, many will configure it as the receiver, which is easily done by creating a data input for the port. This is a very convenient way for the devices to communicate with Splunk and gets data flowing into your index right away. However, this configuration has limitations to be aware of. The UDP protocol doesn't guarantee delivery of network packets. It's a fire and forget one-way communication. So if a receiver can't acquire the sent data due to any break in communication, events get dropped. And because there's no talkback confirming receipt, the sending device doesn't know to resend the missed data. With a system configured this way, there can be a period where syslog messages are lost, a far from ideal situation. One way to keep this from happening is to use a syslog collector server with a Splunk universal forwarder on the server to send the data to your Splunk indexers. Syslog collectors will rarely miss a beat and restart very quickly if they need to. This ensures that you're saving the generated data before it could potentially be lost. The Universal Forwarder is a streamlined version of Splunk Enterprise. After installing it on the collector, we tell it which log files to monitor and where to send the data. On our indexer, we set a receiving port. By default, TCP port 9997. The Universal Forwarder then acts as a buffer, sending the data to our indexer over a secure connection. Now, if there's a break in communication, as soon as the connection is re-established, the Universal Forwarder will continue to send the data that was not received. As an added bonus, this configuration is very flexible, giving you backups of your data and allowing you to route and filter events before they are indexed. As you scale up and add more devices, additional syslog collectors can be used with load balancers to distribute the data and allow for redundancy. If you have any questions, check out answers.splunk.com read the docs, or take a course from Splunk Education. And if you have suggestions for other videos you'd like to see, send them to howtovideos at splunk.com. Thanks for watching.